Well, welcome to another episode of Driven in the Kitchen presented by Mission Crossbows. And as you can see, I have a special guest today with me. It's our son, Carson. And a little secret about Carson, he loves to cook, especially this recipe. And you're doing a little twist on the traditional beef and broccoli, but you're using... Elk. That's right. Either venison or elk are absolutely delicious with this recipe. And we've already got the elk cut up and prepared, as you can see, into bite-sized chunks here. And uh, we're gonna let Carson take over. All right, well, first we gotta start with the sauce. We got one cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of ground um, garlic, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and then add a teaspoon of Orrington Farms broth base. I love this because it adds so much flavor. It's a must have in your pantry. They have chicken or beef, they have all different types and flavors and it's a must-have in your pantry. You can whip it out for any type of meal, and it's a perfect addition to this. It gives it a wonderful flavor. Okay, after that's all mixed together, you're gonna put that over your elk or venison. Mix it all together, and then let it sit for just a few minutes. Our elk is finished marinating, so now it's time to heat up a quarter cup of oil in our pan. Well, our oil's heated up, so it's time to add our elk marinade mixture. We're gonna let that cook till all the meat browns. Put the cover on there. And while the meat browns and cooks, we you can do rice or, or pasta. Meat, yeah. yeah, either one, but we like rice with it, so we've got our rice cooking right now, um, so it should be ready to rock. Yep. All right, ready to go, huh? Yep. So we're gonna add three heads of broccoli. Two onions. <laughs> We're running out of room in our pan. We'll just let it cook down. Yep. It'll reduce down. And we'll just quick. let it cook down. Our onions and broccoli is all done. So now we're gonna mix our cornstarch and a little bit of water just to thicken up the liquids in there. So now we're just gonna add that. Cover it back up and let it sit for five minutes and it'll be done. All right, now that our elk is cooked, we're gonna dish up the rice. Mmm, that's amazing. Very good. Good job, bud. Pretty You'll good. make a good husband someday. This is my Kentucky elk, actually. This is a perfect way to use venison, elk, beef, anything, and it is absolutely phenomenal. You did a good job, bud.